Welcome guys. I'm inside of Akihabara Hackerspace, and let me briefly explain its automatic ventilation system. You can see a CO2 monitor right here in the main area. It is composed of the M5 Stack Core 2 for AWS IoT Edu Kit, a CO2 sensor, and a 3D printed enclosure. What it does, is measure CO2 concentration and PPM, and send it along with its ID, to AWS IoT Core every 10 seconds. There are four of these. Here's another one in the video studio. And another one in the hallway. And the other one in the restroom, and each doing the same job. Now let's go back to the main area. As you can see, there is a powerful ventilation fan inside the kitchen hood. Since this fan is powerful enough to pull and clean air from every little opening in the space, it alone can ventilate the whole space. If you take a closer look, another edu kit is right there. This looks exactly the same as CO2 monitors, but it's got a solid state relay unit on top of it, instead of a CO2 sensor. What it does, is turn on and off the SSR depending on the received payload from AWS IoT Core. The fan was originally connected to this control panel, but now it's connected to the SSR. So you can turn it on and off by sending an MQTT message from AWS IoT Core. Here is the overall architecture of the system. The fan and the CO2 monitors are not directly communicating via AWS IoT Core. There are AWS IoT events detectors in between, and they decide when to turn on and off the fan. This is the detector model of the system. It has two states, normal and vent. When the measured CO2 levels are above the threshold for more than one minute, it shifts from normal to vent, and sends a turn on signal to the fan. As soon as the measured CO2 levels are back to below the threshold, it shifts from vent to normal, and sends a turn off signal to the fan. There are a total of four detectors because there are four CO2 monitors. The measured CO2 levels received by AWS IoT Core are also directed to AWS IoT SiteWise for real-time data visualization and Amazon DynamoDB for later analysis. Okay, I guess you've got enough background information. Let's look at the actual system in action. For explanation purposes, I've placed four CO2 monitors in front of me. If the measured CO2 level exceeds the threshold, which is 600 ppm, the display color changes from green to red. If it continues to be above the threshold for more than one minute at any of the four measurement spots, an AWS IoT event detector shifts from normal to vent and sends a turn on signal to the fan. As soon as the measured CO2 level is back to below the threshold, the detector shifts from vent to normal and sends a turn off signal to the fan. Let's look at this case. If any of the detectors are at the vent state, the fan remains on. Once all of the detectors shift to the normal state, the fan stops. Here is the CO2 monitoring dashboard of the hackerspace. CO2 levels of any of the four measurement spots rarely exceed the CDC standard of 800 ppm, because the threshold is set to 600. Thank you for watching the video. We're looking forward to seeing you at Akihabara Hackerspace.